DTCD is an acronym and it means dynamic transient current delivery. Current to electronics flows in pulses. It's not a continuous sine wave as some people mistakenly believe and it has to do with the way power supplies function. They pull that current in pulses or big gulps. We've done a lot of research to try to find out why why would something that seemingly as simple as power cord, which is essentially just wire and connectors in its simplest form, why, why would that affect the actual performance that you hear from an amplifier or from a preamplifier? How they're affected is in the areas of uh, timing and sound, um, the sharpness or clarity that you can hear in sound. The DTCD concept came from a measurement that's used in commercial electrical installations. To do this, all we have to do is plug it into the power line. And then it gives us a variety of information. What we're primarily interested in is the dynamic current capability. It gives us the voltage and it gives us the percent of distortion and here is the ASCC test. It's telling us there's about 1.17 kiloamps of instantaneous current capability for this power line. And there can be many junction boxes and splices that occur uh, throughout that wiring so it's important to ensure that that wiring can handle a heavy electrical load. It has to meet the rating of whatever it's uh, designated so it may be a 15 amp, a 20 amp, a 30 amp circuit. Now what I'd like to demonstrate is what happens when you take a simple commodity power cord like the ones you get with your components and let's see what it does to the dynamic transient capability just by inserting that power cord. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. And let's go down to ASCC. As you can see, the instantaneous current capability has dropped to 590 amps. Almost a 50% drop in the instantaneous current capability of that power line simply by plugging in one power cord. Now let's run the same test. Let's use a little better power cord. Let's use our least expensive power cord, the Venom 3. Now let's plug it into the circuit. And let's drop down to ASCC test. And you can see it reads 1.01 kiloamps that's over 1,000 amps. So by comparison we've all, we only dropped 100 amps in instantaneous current capability by plugging in the Venom power cord but with the commodity the normal power cord you've lost almost 50 percent of the instantaneous current capability. There are dramatic differences between different gauges of wire um, different geometries, for instance in cables, when you start looking at the current waveform. And that's why we developed the DTCD analyzer. We created a device that simulates the power grid. So it, it acts as a constant voltage source with the ability to, to deliver massive amounts of current when called upon. And then we simulated the action of a power supply in how it pulls current from that line and pulses and then we installed sensors uh, inside the device so that it could very accurately and repeatedly measure that current and this allowed us to measure the power cords and the wires that we talked about and the contacts in a reliable way. This outlet's typical of an outlet that you would have in your wall. I'm going to flip it over 
and we've cut this apart so that you can see internally what's inside. Specifically, when you put the power cord into the outlet, it's only this part right here where I'm pointing to that actually makes contact with the blades of the power connector. Now let's take a look at the internals of the outlet that we use in our power conditioners. Look at the size and the quality of the brass and the size of the contacts. The blade of the power connector actually, if you'll see this point right here, actually contacts in three points. So on this face, on this face, and on this third face. And just for comparison, I'm going to put them side by side again so that you can see them. Galen's designed and we have manufactured something called Coppercon connectors that have a solid copper base. And, and he keeps that metallurgic integrity intact by using the same metals throughout all the products, CDA 101 copper. We've taken one of the Coppercon AC connectors and we've actually machined off the contact, cut it in half, which allows you to see the copper base material. The majority of the performance is in the base material itself, and we chose to use a plating material that's going to protect the copper. All of our products that have come out recently were all developed using the DTCD analyzer. Um, for instance, the Venom PS8 that we just released. It's a fairly simple device. It's, it's essentially a high performance power strip, but all of the wiring and the contacts and the outlets have been selected and designed using the DTCD analyzer. Keelan determined that it was important to develop his own parts that had the different metallurgy, that had the contact uh, integrity that he wanted to serve those purposes. So uh, over the 15 years that, that we've been in business, uh, we've eventually gotten to the place where we now design and have manufactured virtually all of the parts that go into the signal cables, the power cords, and the power distributors. Instantaneous current is probably the most relevant aspect of performance for components from our point of view.